Hi friends, Zoe here and today I'm super excited to talk to you because I'm going to be giving you five tips to take nothing personally. I'm excited to talk to you about this today because this is something that I'm learning about more and more in the present time and I'm becoming more and more comfortable with the fact that I shouldn't be taking anything personally. So for example, in the past a uh, couple weeks I guess I've received a lot more people clicking the, that dislike button down there and I've received a few negative comments on my channel, things like that. I've also noticed it on other YouTubers channels obviously and I've also been dealing with some things in my personal life of people uh, saying things to me that I know that I just shouldn't be taking personally. I have put together five tips that I felt have really helped me to not take anything personally so I hope that they can help you. So step number one is to forgive. And I know sometimes this can seem kind of difficult if somebody says something to you that really hurts your feelings. But the truth is, you holding on to resentment is just like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. I'm sure you've heard that quote or something like it, but it's, it's completely true. You holding on to the feeling of resentment is just you holding on to a bundle of negative energy. And if you can just forgive and let it go, you're going to feel a whole lot better. Step number two is to find compassion and this kind of goes along with forgiving. Sometimes it's hard to forgive if it was somebody close to you or somebody that doesn't even know you who's saying such negative things to you or about you, but you really need to find compassion. Clearly if this person is saying something so negative to you or reacting in such a way that's very harsh, you just need to know that this person is clearly suffering inside. There's something going on within them personally, uh, mentally, and this is why they are feeling the need to take it out on other people. I'm going to give you an example here that hopefully will shed a little bit more light on this situation. So think of yourself in the morning when you're getting ready for work. If you have all the time in the world and you spill your bowl of cereal on the ground, you can laugh at yourself and be like, haha, classic zone move, you know, happens all the time. But if you are in a rush for work and you spill your bowl of cereal on the floor, you're going to be like cursing yourself and being so unhappy. But it's just the way that you are in that present moment. You're feeling rushed. You're feeling pressed with time. So when things happen, it just kind of seems like the biggest thing in the whole world and you blow up about it. But really, in reality, if you kind of step back for a second and try to laugh at yourself or like laugh at the situation a little bit and, and find compassion in yourself or in somebody else in that moment, you're going to become a lot more free. Step number three is to decide it's better to be happy than right. I've had a few of these negative comments on my channel, people calling me different names or accusing me of different things. And I know who I am inside, so I don't really need to go and comment back, uh, no, you're wrong because of this. I don't need to fuel that fire. I don't need to put negative energy back into something. I know that I don't need to prove that I'm right. I am out here on YouTube. I know that I'm open to the opinion firing squad, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm talking to you guys and I've met some amazing friends and the majority of you are so, so supportive of me and I am so grateful for that. So I really don't need to put energy into proving that I'm right over a certain situation. And it's not just about YouTube, it's about in-person interactions as well. If somebody's going to accuse you of something and it's not a situation where you need to explain yourself, then who cares? Okay, just move along. You don't need to put any negative energy into situations. If somebody is accusing you of something that you're not guilty of, it doesn't matter. You don't need to build the fire and build the drama. Nobody needs that in their life. So just recognize that it's better to be happy and let things go than to keep fueling the fire and making your point that you're right. Step number four is to remember that this is something that you're gonna forget about. Whether it be three minutes down the road, three hours, three weeks, three years, Think about your future self and looking back on this present situation. There's no way that three years down the road, this person saying something to you is really going to matter all that much because you're your own person. You know what you're capable of. You know what your dreams and passions are and just pursue them. Be kind to people and, you know, as time goes on, maybe you'll be on a boat in the Mediterranean Sea somewhere and this moment in time now is not going to matter whatsoever. So just remember that when somebody says something to you or does something to you that hurts your feelings in that moment, let it go and then just know that your future self will have forgotten about this already. And hopefully that future self is in three hours from now, but if it is three months or three years from now, just do your best to try and let it go. Step number five is to love yourself. Think of a time when you have truly helped somebody or you have truly made a difference in somebody else's life. 
clearly there's going to be people in this world who are going to have their opinion on you and feel they need to voice it either way but you know inside that you're a good person and you know that you're capable of really great things so if somebody hurt your feelings in that present moment just think about all the wonderful things that you have done in your life to help people and how you are a special gift in this world there's no need to dull your shine just because somebody else doesn't agree with it or somebody else doesn't want to lift you up i mean you're not just going to pursue all the things that you want to pursue just because somebody doesn't think it's cool if you want to start a business and people are scoffing at you like oh did you hear what such and such is doing or do you hear what zoe thinks she's going to do this it really doesn't matter prove them wrong use it to fuel your own fire and use it to fuel your ambition you're going to do just fine in whatever your endeavors are and just give yourself all that self-love that you truly deserve Anyways, guys, I hope that this video helped you take nothing personally. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up or comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have any additional tips, leave them below because we're all friends here and we can all help each other out. And I hope that you have a lovely day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!